What is a WDO inspection? And what does it entail? What are WDOS? WDO represents wood-destroying organisms. The drywood termite, subterranean termite, and wood-destroying beetles are the most frequent varieties in Florida. Dry rot or wood-decaying fungus damage are also WDOs to watch out for, and they are more prevalent than termites. Collectively, they cause billions in damages each year in Florida. Damage to persons and property throughout the United States makes a WDO examination crucial. Who then pays the bill when these annoying little critters are finished? How do you detect a WDO issue? First, it is essential to determine if you are under attack by WDOs. Termites and ants leave behind calling cards when they are around, but an untrained eye could overlook them. They annually cause an estimated $5 billion in damages in the United States, so when in doubt, hire a WDO inspection company expert. What to watch for? Termite pestilence. Does your floor have a spongy or squishy feel? This could result from internal erosion that you do not see until it is too late. Your skirting boards may be sagging due to extensive interior structural deterioration. There may be fissures in the interior walls and ceilings. Are the interior doors and windows easy to open and close? Or they have grown distorted due to internal damage, resulting in a less efficient procedure. Frass, feces and bits of wood, is the name for termite droppings. A definitive sign that you have a termite problem. Mud tubes observed at the foundation, window sills, and walls. In the spring and fall, swarmers may be observed. Thousands of winged termites emerge from their nests, frequently in the structure, home where they want to establish a new colony, look like ants with wings. Termite infestation. Ants are looking for food around your home, they like sweet stuff and meat. You have observed winged ants in your home, indicating that the colony is well established and searching for new sites to form a new one. These ants have well-organized nests, therefore, the wood they have removed must have a purpose. Check for wood shavings deposited nearby, this will suggest the presence of a nest. The rustling sound you hear could be the sound of ants working on your home. What damages are sustained due to WDO damage? Personal injury. Did a structural flaw force you to experience severe personal injuries? Do these incidents occur in your home or at a place of business? These injuries can include falling through floorboards, beams collapsing above you, and exposed irrigation pipes and wiring through the walls. If this has occurred to you or someone you know, you must immediately contact a personal injury attorney. If a proper WDO inspection was not conducted, you might qualify for workers' compensation or a settlement. As indicated previously, if termites or any other WDO has harmed the property you own or are leasing, you may be eligible for compensation. Has the property of your business become a safety hazard for customers and employees? Have you had to close your business, resulting in income loss? Everyday occurrences in houses afflicted by WDOs include collapsing ceilings, extensive water damage, and dangerous electrical systems. What is pest control litigation? Pest control litigation is the legal procedure of obtaining compensation for injuries, damages, both personal and property, via the courts. It is typically used to decide who is at fault and how much the victim should be compensated. WHO is responsible for WDO damage? Pest management can be a legal issue as well as a safety hazard. Who is accountable? Here is when things might become difficult. Most of the time, the blame will fall on the pest treatment firm if it is apparent blatant damage. When transferring property ownership or starting a lease, a pest control firm is typically called in to undertake an initial examination, more on that below. If the inspection was not up to industry standards and the results wrongly indicate the absence of WDOs, the pest control business may be held accountable for the resulting damages. Not only do we want to provide you with the most trustworthy service possible, but we also need to protect ourselves if problems arise later on. As a result, Imperial Pest Prevention can take confidence in the fact that litigation has never been an issue, our work meets all industry standards, and we take great interest in ensuring our customers' satisfaction and trust. Your landlord or property owner may be responsible if an initial inspection was not performed and you rented a home or office for personal or professional use without one. What laws does Florida have regarding WDOs? The property must adhere to the legal health and safety requirements. In terms of habitability, WDOs have a significant role. If there is evidence of their presence, the landlord is responsible for dealing with it. They must contact a trustworthy and wholly licensed pest control firm to resolve the problem. 
tenants may be permitted to withhold rent if their landlord has been warned and has taken no action to resolve the issue. If relocating is necessary, there is typically compensation for the inconvenience, such as the landlord's pro-rated rent or alternative housing. How is the Structural Pest Control ACT described? The legislation is a collection of guidelines established by the Structural Pest Control Board. In layman's words, the Structural Pest Control Act mandates inspection of only visible and accessible locations at the time of check. The inside of hollow walls, spaces between floors, and sections disguised by carpets, appliances, furniture, or cabinets are not accessible for inspection. There may be active infestations or diseases in specific regions despite the absence of visible or accessible evidence. If you want information on areas that were not inspected, you can pay for an additional inspection. During a typical examination, rugs, furniture, and appliances are not typically moved, nor are windows opened. What is the appearance of a WDO inspection report? The basic WDO inspection report contains three sections, each providing different inspection detail levels. WDO Inspection Section 1 This section includes items with indications of an active infestation, infection, or infestations resulting from or caused by an infestation or illness. For instance, if we uncover fungus damage on the eaves or the bathroom floor, or if we find an active infestation of subterranean termites, drywood termites, or carpenter ants, we would recommend extermination. Most sales contracts provide that these items must be fixed. WDO Inspection Section 2 These situations are thought to be likely to infestation or infection, notwithstanding the absence of visual proof. These products include soil to wood contact. If the dirt comes in contact with the wood, it will eventually cause fungus damage or provide subterranean termites with easy access. If a water or plumbing leak is not addressed, it will result in fungal damage. Additionally, Section 2 problems include fractured tiles or missing grout in a shower or sink, leaking gutters, and an improper grade that causes water to drain toward the structure. WDO Inspection Section 3 Additional inspection items are defined as recommendations to inspect the areas that did not enable the inspector access to complete the inspection during the initial inspection. They cannot be defined under the preceding sections. Storage along the home's exterior or in the garage that obscures the siding and foundation is a typical Section 3 item. We will request that the items be relocated and conduct an additional inspection. Water stains, dry at the time of inspection, on a tub or shower adjacent ceilings or walls are prevalent and frequently the most problematic. If we observe a dry water stain on the ceiling, we will urge that it be opened for additional examination and that a roofer examine the roof. This will likely cost approximately $1,000 in total. Maybe the seller had a new roof constructed a few years ago, and everyone agrees that the stain is old. This would be wonderful until next winter when the roof will leak, and the pest control firm will be held responsible. A second example is a dry, bloated baseboard or a water stain near the shower, frequently attributed to oversplash. If nothing is done and the new owner learns that the shower door does not fit correctly or that there is a leak in a drain, etc. Then the seller is responsible for making the necessary repairs. These are typically the items that create the most trouble. The owners do not wish to spend money on potential problems. Section 3 Things have not been handled frequently when a property is sold. 6 to 12 months later, the new owner discovers a significant problem with the property. This is why it is essential to conduct adequate research. Exist distinct types of WDO inspections? There are two varieties of inspections. Perform WDO inspections. We check all exterior and interior visible and accessible aspects of the building. We report all items from sections 1, 2, and 3. Restrictive WDO inspections. We merely inspect a particular portion of the property. Frequently, we receive phone calls from individuals who suspect they have termites in the living room or kitchen. We shall inspect only that portion of the property when we go outside. We are expected to report all items from sections 1, 2, and 3 that we observe in the area when we are there to inspect for termites. Not only termites. We are not permitted to do a limited examination for a particular pest, only for a region. We would always recommend a thorough investigation, as you may not be aware that other portions of the property are under threat. Always tread on the side of caution rather than regret. What are the benefits of an inspection by the WDO every couple of years? This element is self-explanatory, as the initial point of time access for WDOs can occur anytime. The most significant benefit is preventing a minor infestation from becoming a huge issue. 
Take into account the following. A tiny plumbing leak under the sink in the workplace break room is simple to repair. But suppose you don't suspect it's due to the presence of WDOs, and the leak persists for a considerable time, say a year or more. Severe water damage may lead to the collapse of the structure. You are suddenly faced with a significant operation to repair the property. An inspection aims to identify tiny flaws, look beyond the obvious, and prevent a severe issue. Our most important concern is that property inspections are only performed during a sale or refinance. Suppose you believe that your property or a property you are leasing is under attack. In that case, you should immediately contact a fully licensed and experienced pest control firm to do a WDO inspection.